Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Veer, and today we are going to see the basics of Cypress. Okay. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's see what is Cypress. Okay. So Cypress is basically a next generation front end testing tool built for the modern web. When we say a modern web, it means you know the application that are designed using the modern uh, JavaScript based framework uh, like React, uh, Angular, or Vue.js. Okay. Um, uh, also note that it can be used for the traditional applications as well. You know, uh, for automation, it's it's not that it can be used only for the modern uh, web applications. Okay. <clears throat> and you know, uh, so basically, what Cypress addresses is the you know the key you know pain points uh, developers and QA engineers that face, you know, uh, when testing modern web applications, you know, like, you know, uh, the modern web application that has been designed doesn't have, you know, unique identifier, you know, or, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the um, you know, the, the elements that are designed are not quite unique, all those kinds of, or, or, you know, some elements are that get rendered at runtime and, you know, the DOM gets refreshed not the entire DOM get refreshed, only the part of the DOM get refreshed. So these kinds of, you know, uh, if, there, if the application has these kinds of uh, <coughs> functionality, then, you know, uh, you might have faced uh, some uh, problem while, you know, automating it with the help of uh, traditional uh, uh, applications like, you know, Selenium or uh, WebDriver or, you or you know any other uh, automation tool that have, that you have used okay so that it tries to uh, overcome okay now next uh, thing is who are the users of the cypress okay so what cypress claims is that the typically developers and qa can use uh, this uh, this as a uh, testing tool uh, primarily uh, it is based on the javascript okay so cypress is you know uh, the, the only language it supports is the javascript Okay, for automation. Uh, okay, and what Cypress claims to offer uh, as per their documentation? So, so if you go to their documentation, what they claim is that Cypress can be used to uh, automate your end-to-end -end test flows. Uh, it can be used to perform integration testing, unit testing, and as well as the API test. So, uh, you can say a single umbrella to uh, do all kinds of testing that are you know important for your application. Okay, so uh, now let's move on to some of the cool features of the Cypress. Uh, so basically, the, the, this, these are, you know, features that I found uh, to be, you know, very unique uh, to the Cypress. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, uh, like Cypress automatically waits for commands and assertion before moving on. So if you come from a Selenium, uh, you have to, you know, use implicit weights and explicit weight in order to, you know, perform certain actions, you know, if, if you know, <clears throat> if the element is taking some time to load. So this has been completely removed in the Cypress where, you know, Cypress automatically have waiting capabilities uh, for commands as well as for the assertions. Okay. So, um, so uh, you can also add weight on top of that, but it is not, you know, recommended in Cypress. Uh, then the next feature is uh, ability to test edge cases uh, by mocking the server responses. Uh, so, so basically Cypress allows as, as Cypress works at the network layer. So you can, you know, uh, modify the network call and, you know, you can mock the server responses as well. Like say, for example, you wanted to simulate the 500 behavior for your application. So, you know, that can be done with the help of, uh, Cypress as well. Okay. Then, uh, other thing is view screenshot taken automatically on failure or videos of entire test suit when they run from the CLI. Okay. So, uh, so you can, you know, uh, you don't need to write any external code to, you know, take the screenshot or to record the entire video of your execution that is comes inbuilt with the Cypress and, you know, uh, it is just a configuration thing, right? You can just add one configuration and you can start taking the screenshot as well as the videos for your test execution. Uh, one of the other feature that is uh, very common across the, you know, uh, automation tools is you know uh, ability to test across the browser so cypress support uh, firefox and chrome based family browsers so basically uh, you can use your test 
on different browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and Electron that is comes inbuilt with the uh, Cypress. Okay, uh, and this can be used. Um, this this can be used on your local as well as you can run this test on the on your CI, CI environment on this particular world. As of now, Cypress doesn't support uh, uh, the the Safari browser. Uh, okay, so that is one drawback you can say of a Cypress. You know where you cannot uh, execute or run your test on the Safari browser. Okay, now the next uh, uh, thing I'll, I'll be talking about is the Cypress architecture, okay? So uh, if, you, if you come from a uh, Selenium, right? Selenium uh, runs and operates outside the browser, executing the remote commands across the network. Meaning, you know, if, if you had gone with the Selenium architecture, right? So Selenium, uh, it doesn't you know directly interacts with the browser so it has in between a layer and that interacts with your browser app and and in turn with your application so in terms of cypress it is quite you know different uh, cypress you know is executed in the same loop as your application runs okay so basically uh, cypress doesn't have any new in between thing so it actually interacts with your application as cypress application opens up so everything is into the same process you can see okay and it because of which it is quite fast in the execution um, okay I'll, I'll show you how when 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 uh, your application execution starts you will come to know that uh, what, what i'm uh, trying to explain over here okay so once we open the Cypress application for your test execution, then then you might come across that particular thing. Then uh, behind the Cypress, okay, uh, it's a Node server process. So basically, uh, Cypress is uh, a Node.js based uh, application, you can say. And it 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 uh, whenever you open a Cypress, right behind the scene, a Node server process starts, and that ser Node server process is you know constantly communicating with your application. And synchronize and, and it, it synchronizes your actions between your application and the Cypress. Uh, application is nothing but your web application. Okay. And another cool part of the Cypress architecture is Cypress are Cypress actually communicates or operates at the network layer. Okay. So network layer of application. So that's why you know uh, you can you know alter the some some of the network calls. Like you know, say suppose you wanted to simulate a behavior of a 500 request. Okay, so that can be altered on the fly. Okay, for your web application. Okay, so, uh, just to give an example, let's say your application is giving you 200 status code, but you wanted to mock that particular uh, status code from 200 to let's say 500. So that can be done as Cypress operates on the network layer. And that particular 500 status code can be passed to your application and you can check how that your application behaves if, if you, you know, if you receive a 500 status code. So that's a, that are you know the some of the cool uh, architectural features of the Cypress. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.